some drag strip party. <laughs> <laughs> Like a stock Yukon that you like stuck into the car show instead of tent up next to <laughs> Crescent wrench to get these wing nuts extra tight. Why? Looks stock. That's the point of the sleeper, buddy. <laughs> There's some gold in this comment section. Oh, well, now we got our spot sort of right next to 1320. Oh no, he threw up on my hat and my phone case. You have to unload and set up easy up stuff like right here and then pull Uncle Rob right there. And we'll have access to the truck while we're doing stuff. Let's get this thing unloaded. Did we do a good job? This is just a random pop-up thing from Academy. And I was like, you know, I wonder if my stickers will stick to it. And they like sort of do. So, boom. I just put some tape over the logo. Oh my God, it's Matt. What's up, brother? Are we neighbors? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. I chose to park you just because I knew you were going. Awesome. <laughs> you just posted a picture of Uncle Rob on the 1320 page. I did, and there's a lot of mixed stuff. Every, <laughs> it, yeah, everybody either like recognizes it or they're saying it's heavy. There's a comment that I'm looking at right now that says why. I'm going to respond to that and tell them why. <laughs> Why? Looks stock. That's the point of the sleeper, buddy. <laughs> There's some gold in this comment section. It don't make 450 horsepower is the most common thing I'm seeing. You know it don't make. Yeah. Well, I got nothing to say. Right now it actually does, but it won't right. for very right. long. Yeah. I love that thing, man. It it's... just looks like a stock Yukon that you like stuck into the car show instead of tent up next to it. <laughs> Someone said, driving here, I put a picture on my Instagram story, and they're like, you look like you're coming back from a Craigslist score, not going to a race. <laughs> Scored this on Facebook Marketplace today. Yeah, 500 bucks. <laughs> hey, hey, that's worth more than $500. It's a good deal if you got it for 500 bucks. Can't wait to race it. Dude, I can't but either. People don't, they don't get that, like, 450 wheel in that thing moves. But, like, how slow they are normally. Man, if and I was it, making 450 horsepower when it came out, that would have been like the TRX of its day. Literally. Somebody said they were winter tires. In the yeah. I was like, like, well, they could be winter tires if you want. It drove through the winter with those tires. That makes them winter tires. It does. It does. It is now getting later in the afternoon. Drive racing is about to start. I gotta go. Go get tech inspected. Make sure Uncle Rob passes tech. It has been a long day. I just want to race. Test and tune. About to get called to come up. So I'm going to pull up and do it. Kind of got a little bit of a dilemma or a sucky part here. As Logan can't come to the line with me because she has to watch all of our stuff. So she's just going to walk up to the fence and film. So we're pulling up now. I got it in four high. It's really crunchy. Doesn't really like to turn. But, you know, that's okay. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm really not, I'm thinking somewhere in the eight second range. 
I'd like to see an eight because it went, I think, a mid nine in Yellow Belly with the half blown up transmission. So we will see. miles an hour I know we definitely got more in this thing because it did a 1860 foot at yellow belly and that was a 2.1 I can break boosted more I think that's the uh, the first gear difference of the 4L60 to the 4L80 kind of really let this thing lag interesting nonetheless I'm excited I think this is a great starting point Kind of sounded stuffed up with this talk exhaust. Yeah, 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 I think that's part of it too. Yep. It uh went. It just kind of just blow through. You know, just trying, but couldn't get it out. I got wing nuts on the cutout. Maybe tomorrow I'll yep. take them off. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. I totally forgot that it has the exhaust hooked back up. Now I would be willing to bet that's probably killing like 40 horsepower because it it felt constricted. So yeah, I think next time. We'll pop that cutout open and see if it makes a difference. Because it, it felt like it significantly slowed down the spooling of the turbo. Like it wasn't just the gear ratio. And that makes a lot more sense now. I don't know if you could tell. It looked like it left really, really slow. Yeah, it did. It's okay. You did your job. So, day two. Uh, we're getting ready for test and tune again. And I'm going to pull the cutout off and see how much faster, if it goes faster, for science. It may not be a dyno, but we can see real world track numbers as to how much the factory exhaust chokes this thing down. So let's get it pulled off among the ice cream truck sounds over there. Yeehaw. Crescent wrench to get these wing nuts extra tight as I didn't want it to fall off and lose the cover plate on the road somewhere. Oh, we got condensation, nice. is turn off the boost for a future day race week probably maybe i don't know we're just gonna see what it does today but i gotta pull up there and get in line they're pulling up now the cutout is off and i'm gonna i'm gonna double stage or i'm gonna go into the second bulb put in neutral wrap the crap out of it press the brakes really hard and boost this thing really hard not like last time I didn't do it that hard last time. And we also got the cutout off, so I'm thinking we should be able to do a good 60 foot here. It does not like to turn in four wheel drive though. The rear end is also not super thrilled because it needs more friction modifier in it. Probably a different viscosity fluid, but we're just gonna let it ride. You hear that? But don't <laughs> Good. We're going 
going to run again. We're racing some people today. Yeah. I think it trapped 80 that time. Maybe 81. I'm not exactly sure. But I saw the speedometer was right at 80 at the end. And it was significantly uh, quicker launch. Got a little bourbon out there. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. 80.5. But still a 260 foot. Hmm. Maybe I can load it up more. That or the uh, the gear ratio difference from the 4L60 really made that much of a difference, even though it was half blown up, which is very possible. That and the rest of the exhaust, which is like another three feet of pipe. It's not a ton, but it may make some of a difference. For 10 pounds of boost, can't beat it. This thing's a riot for 10 pounds of boost. We're racing Kyle's Yukon. <laughs> oh, oh sweet, we got a passenger. That's oh, okay, we're not fast enough to need one of these. <laughs> Dang, so that's what that looks like down there. Well, the thing is, when someone tried to steal my Duramax, they stole this and took all my change, so the one from Uncle Rob is now in my Duramax. Just go. Yeah, I know, I need to go get a new one. This takes me back to when my dad had one of these. Holy cow. <laughs> it's like the exact same thing. Just more power. More power. More power. I used to sit back there when I was a little kid, kick the seat. I'd, I'd tie a, when we go on long drives, I would tie a hockey jersey from this thingy to the back of the headrest and then shove a pillow in and I'd sleep like that. I'd go to grandma's house in Michigan. Yeah, so many memories. <laughs> yeah, and now we're racing it. It's funny. So your uncle ordered this like way back in the day, right? My dad did. Your dad did? Yeah, my dad was the original owner. He ordered it new. Uh, he got it in July 2003. I got a picture of me sitting in his old 95 Suburban wearing a Dale Earnhardt jacket with this one brand new in the background. Let's go now. Suck it, Kyle. You better be on that light, boy. I'm doing my best. Oh, he's going around the water. Uh oh Oh, he uh -oh. thinks he's gonna spin. Okay. No chances will be taken. <laughs> Man, who backed into something? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh my god, Kyle's doing a burnout. You're in trouble, man. Is that Yukon hey, gets down. Is that thing two-wheel drive? No, but he, ha he probably oh. has a two-wheel. Oh, okay. I mean, I red lit, so not really. <laughs> Technically, though. What we run? Well, we went uh, 894 at 79. He only trapped 71, so he's, he's screwed. <laughs> uh, that was an 891, Kyle. We both went a 2160 foot, though. So if I give him the hit, we're going to 60 foot the same and hopefully run him down by the end. Fantastic numbers. You won't see numbers like that anywhere else unless you take your mom's car to the track. <laughs> <laughs> or your dad's you car. <laughs> yeah. Did he, Kyle's gonna switch into Fort High out here. Did he spin last time? No. It didn't oh. really sound like that. Oh, oh. Well, if he didn't spin, that's gonna make him slower. So.
Mitchell gets there first. <laughs> that there is a race worth racing. Yes, sir. When you can watch the other guy and like have time to wave at him going down the eighth mile, you know you're having fun. Yeah. We'll see if he wants to run back to two wheel now. <laughs> We're going. This is the third hot lap for this thing. That was another 890. My first one was an 870, so. We're heat soaking this thing and still whooping them with Boosted Boy Kyle's OG eBay intercooler that's probably been on, I don't know how many cars he had. Oh, probably a ton. How many motors he's blown up through it. When he gave it to me, I poured oil out of it, so. Oh my God, just Honda stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we still went 78.2 and he went 72. Damn. Two 160 foot, again, 60 foot was the same but we're killing them in the 330. They like, when I pulled up to tech in this thing, the guy looked at me like I was gonna ask him a question or something. He, and then I pulled out my slip and he's like, and then he's like, can you pop the hood? And I did, and he's like, oh, it's got a turbo. Okay, like, he just thought I was like, what are you doing, guy? You should be like, yeah, mom's gonna be pissed if she finds out that I put a turbo on her car. So I switched back to two wheel and slow me down. I can put it in two wheel too, see if I spin. Would. You give me a hit again? We can try that. Because I will also pick up power from going to two-wheel drive. So Ooh, dang. it All could right. be a uh, gamble worth taking. We're I'm playing right now. now. We can try that. Have you seen how he switches it back from four-wheel to two-wheel? Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. I think okay. it's seven something. I think it's in the, the thing seven. there. Yeah. And then look at your book. Holy crap. Oh, no. Don't lose the snooze. Oh, Jesus. It's Gosh, on the ground man. now. Eight, oh, nine. 
I think it might be this, eight, nine, four, the split one. Eight, that one was, my best one was the first pass of the day before I got it to be a million nine, degrees. One, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, that's gotta be it. That's and, a, uh, that's an old yellow belly one. 10, oh, eight yellow belly, I'm jealous. I've never <laughs> raced with yellow belly. says it's hot then it's really really hot where does it say oh is that the it, it would where it says service four-wheel drive oh, it would okay. say transmission hot oh, yeah <laughs> this is awesome this is like the most epic like ultimate racer sounds you can make <laughs> it's an hks blow off album <laughs> it's a tile so, close enough so people people watch it run they're like oh it's slow it's slow like you, have you, to drive you don't understand. understand. You will go half as fast and have twice as much oh, fun yeah. as if you did the same stuff to a car. Yeah. <laughs> there are windows up here. It's in two-wheel drive, but it won't spin. Okay. Uh, you have, you have radials spin. on here? They are um, radial tires, but they're not drag radials. Okay. <laughs> they're uh, winter tires. Yeah, everybody <laughs> on Instagram was like, I like the winter tires. <laughs> the brake booster just go. Brake boost it. If it spins, you know, just pedal it, ride it out. Your heated seat's on, by the way. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you, so maybe get you just poke the buttons on the side of the door there. Yeah. <laughs> Never had that problem before. He was probably getting squirrely. Right, we are good. Around. The swamp ass is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going four deep down the drag strip here. <laughs> The 
it does not work. We have gas. Suburban because we couldn't do donuts anywhere else. Yeah, that's what it does. This is a real throwback <laughs> right here. Workers comp. <laughs> this is good. Okay, this is a safe distance here. That's a win. This farmer's oh, gonna be I'm like, damn old. kids. Yeah. Throw my rocks everywhere. <laughs> this thing flawlessly did it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Look yep. at the marks back there. Oh, too huge. It was just floating like a Look trophy truck. Oh my god. It looks like an explosion. <laughs> and Paula has no idea who's doing this. So she you gotta be ready to film one of <laughs> She's gonna be so pissed. Is she? I, I can, well, until she sees me, yeah. Can you see me in Hawaii? Yeah, I <laughs> Doug said it was okay. <laughs> I didn't have all ready to turn you guys in. <laughs> Paul, yeah, Paul was like, Thanks, Kyle. You're almost getting booted. <laughs> smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Is service four wheel drive important? No, it always says that. Just don't let anything pops up that I should worry about. I just really like that she kept talking about the news. <laughs> you think they're doing test and tune? This very clearly has no priorities. No, no, no. We don't need to dump a bunch of dust on the drag machine. <laughs> you can't. Not make turbo noises on this one. No. Bad time driving this thing. frame on there that has a camera on it that my dad put there because he had like a primitive head unit with a backup camera on there and my uncle 
Oh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Some old RV flat towing stuff, I'm sure. And because all that's still there, like the tow bars. When I got this thing from my uncle, I took it back to my dad's house. He's like, oh, I still have the tow bars from it. Wow, that's really long. This is what he used to pull it behind oh, the family motorhome with. Uh, okay. Yeah, it goes into where the tow hook goes. Nice. Yeah, and the, the brake solenoid that with like the breakaway brake uh, thing. Yeah. There's a bracket on the floor down there. And there's oh, a Mac cool. there's a Mac valve and stuff under the hood. <laughs> you got your uh, tuna salad. Tuna salad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me take it for a rip. Anytime. I'm impressed that it made it through all that. It was fun. It's the, it's the beauty of it. It's not running too hot either. That's, that's... If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you made it this far, look down there and hit that subscribe button because if you like this kind of stuff, we're going to be doing a lot more of it. A lot more with Uncle Rob, the next suburban build coming up, the Escalade, all that. You're in the right place. And I feel like if you watched a whole 30 minute video anyway, and you've never been here before, you should probably subscribe because treat yourself. Also, I wanted to show you that those Uncle Rob shirts that you can see in the background of the video, we got them right here. StapletonAutoWorks.com. Got these shirts too, the one I was wearing. It looks like uh, Dale Earnhardt's 1988 through 91-ish pit crew shirt. Um, this is the back. That's the back of the Uncle Rob shirt. The front just has, uh... man, I'm terrible at this. I'm sorry, guys bad product presentation I'm not a pro just has a logo on there we're also preparing for Rocky Mountain race week which is happening right now Rocky we Mountain sweat week here in Texas yeah seriously I'm glad to be missing that but we pulled, <laughs> we pulled the seats out little John found one already oh, yeah. we, you know nice and sweaty we, we pulled them out to have extra room for stuff because we're gonna bring shirts with us too but did you just fart over here that was him it was not me. I'm the one that said prove you it. it yourself. Prove it. Oh, prove it. Yeah, nice. Okay, go grab the air, put it back in your butt, see if it fits. That's the only way we're going to know. Fits. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. We need a thermal in here. <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed for race week content and turn the notifications on too so you actually see when we post something. You click the little bell thingy. And check out stapletonautoworks.com. Get yourself a super sweet Uncle Rob shirt or pit crew shirt. We'll see you there. I don't know why I just did this whatever. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs>